Hello everyone, this is Fantastic Worlds, welcoming you back to Lovecraft Country and the Let's Try series. Yes, as you may know if you've been following this channel, regular service has temporarily been interrupted for a definite period due to things, but I am still going to try to send what I can, and in lieu of being able to sustain a regular series, we're going to look on something that I think was going to be of interest to a large number of you, the sequel to Cultist Simulator, or at least the demo, the alpha demo, of The Book of Hours, which of course is written by the same peeps, two people who did Cultist Simulator, and of our games that we love to play because we're masochists and we decided to expand upon their universe. Now, if you've been following the people who do that weather factory, you'll notice that they've been doing a lot of theme stuff like a one shot RPG and a LARP that's in the uh, English countryside. But and of course, um, a lot of small stuff that they'll drop on their website or just out for people to see that have been expanding upon the cult of similar universe. Now, I've gone over a couple of basic lore episodes on the world, and it's fascinating. And I do hope that once I have a life of my own again, I will be able to concentrate more on this. But in the meantime, let's explore another entry into, I suppose we call it the Cultist Simulator cinematic universe. Anyway, so the Book of Hours begins with the concept of us becoming a librarian for a mystic library. But as you can guess from the Cultist Simulator universe, this is, of course, not so easily as just filling out a... Um, uh, an application passing, of course, the interview. This is a initiation into a dark and dangerous way. Now, I looked up a few minutes of gameplay to get a basic idea of how it works so that we would be able to um, not watch me stumble over basic commands, but I left the majority of it to be discovered along with you. So, let us begin our journey again, once more into the benighted universe of the virtually sunless Spiritually speaking, called the Simulator Universe. Brangok Bran Brangrug, I guess we're in Wales. March 7th, 1936. There has been no librarian at Hush House since the fire, seven years ago. Suitable candidates are very difficult to find. Perhaps we have found one in you. Take care on your journey. The seas around Brangrug are treacherous. Good to know. So, think about the game. Like I said, I did a few minutes of it and other people's gameplay to get an idea of what's going on is that it has locations and basically you can shift from location to location doing the things that are appropriate to that location right now we are in saint brandon's cove the fishermen of brandon village beach their boats here each night the sea does not regret the tide and after the tide withdraws something always remains which we call memory it's a time of storms too now of course like with a lot of the cult of simulator cards there is a poetic and deeper meaning to a lot of these little antidotes they add to the cards. In this case, Saint, it's referring to the fact that the tide is like time. And each day we live, when it withdraws, leaves memory behind it. And of course, time of storms, we can be familiar with this. This is just before World War II in their timeline. And you can look around the world right now and get a good idea what they must have been feeling like at that time. But as you notice, there are a few buttons here and there, like for example, pause button, like we will be using a lot, mind you. Let's see. Yep, and the ba the basic options one. Uh, this of course registers the, I think I know what this means. Oh, that's just speed. Yep, and that slows us down. So yeah, there's the basic. There's the wisdoms, the tree of wisdoms. The scholars and apps recognize the nine wisdoms. Okay, we're gonna have an entirely new mystical system here apparently. Although they disagree when one wisdom ends, another begins something we think about. Use cursors to traverse the tree. Now, as you can see, we, we, we rescue journal. My memory is like curdled in my journal, like the seed in winter hearth. Once you re 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 rescued and read your journal, you use it to unlock the tree. And the journal has, of course, the journal itself, which is one of the, which I guess is our book, our record, our save file. And uncatalog. There's nothing safer as ignorance or as dangerous. Nero Wolf. Famous author I barely remember. I don't think I've ever read anything by him. Or is he a philosopher? No, well, philosophers usually are. That's, but let's uh, turn it off. Let's ish, let get back to the world. There we go. The physical world as opposed to the inner world of our soul, which I guess that's what it is. Ah, and there we go. All right, so you'll notice that, by the way, we have... These are the new verb options. Otherwise, you remember the verbs being the squares that we stick cards into? 
This is now circles on the left-hand side and our little play mat, I guess we're called. Now we have memories, or we should have memories, but we don't actually. Elements of the soul, skills, and sundries, which I think are objects. So these is where we're going to be recording our stuff. So whenever we get it, the first thing we want to do is we want to use the observation verb. I think is what this is called, or look verb, or whatever you want to call it. The cold comes first, thunder growling, waves pounding, and finally me sprawled in the sodden sand of the beach. There's something in my hand. Okay, so remember, this is basically a card game. We're going to start acquiring these are the first three cards. Now you notice, of course, they have aspects. Soaked. In the peril of dissolution, intervene quickly, but not hastily. In other words, we are soaked, basically. My guess is we had a shipwreck. Heart. The heart relentlessly beats to protect the skin of the world we understand. The heart is a principle that continues and preserves. In other words, keep the hearts about us or we die. Because the other part of that element of the soul. Now remember, this is all because of what this is all telling us the total of what's in our hand. The winter aspect of silence, endings, and things not quite dead. Because death in this game is dissolution as opposed to winter, which preserves the memories of the dead. Readable. There are things in this good readable. There are skies, windstorm, echo, song, intricacies of mathematics and principles of flight. Laws touch is lighter than we sometimes think. Okay. This is what an aspect. Now, this is not one of the basic aspects we had in Cultist Simulator. If you remember those, sky is a new one. This is a new system of mysticism, and we are going to have to figure it all out from the top again. But if you didn't like that sort of thing, you wouldn't be here watching this right now. Memory, something remembered can be understood. This is actually something you memories can use to help craft and upgrade skills. Because technically, skills are memories. I mean, you learn to do something that you're drawing on your memory. Anyway, so, pop her open. Health, half drowned. Shivers rack my soaking body. My health is failing. Find somewhere to warm up. Okay. Memory, storm. There are storms great enough to make shake the moon from the sky. This one's thought. Okay, by the way, yeah, it's quite obvious we have soaked heart elements of the soul in winter here. Basically, we have both life and death because we are on the verge of it. On this one, we have heart because, you know, storms make our heart beat, then panic us, adrenaline rush, sky, obvious, and memory is in our past. And round book, the one position I kept from the brickwork. It must be important to me. Readable and soaked. We have basically got to find a way to salvage it. In any case, so let's take these collect all right and as you notice they go certain places now at the top here these are belongings this is our i thought the sundries would be inventory but apparently it's this memories we have the memory of the storm we have the health half drowned elements of the soul because apparently you decided the soul is our thing now what we should do i think this is all going forward is unpause and decide what we're going to do here now what we we have to salvage now if you remember it used to be that it would ring Anything that matches the aspects can go below. We can try to salvage, for example, the book. Perhaps this book can help me put the pieces together. But can we put the storm in? I remember. There was a storm. It smashed this ship like an egg. But I seized this book as the sea seized me. Then the sea brought me to Bran Brankrug. Someone, I am sure, will tell me how to pronounce this properly. We all know how I am with the pronunciations. Okay, so we're now using the book and the memory associated together. Because remember, we saw that they had elements together. If you pull it out, it shows that I can put anything that has either the book or C related to it. But I can also, if you recall, had this has C as well. Raising fingers, the book's in bad shape and I'm in not much better. We're both in need of a warm, dry, safe place and soon. Okay, so... Hang on. Do you notice, by the way, we can't... We're places we haven't gone are covered by the fog of memory here. So... Let's put the storm in, because I think if we do this, how... Yeah, we can't... There's no start button for this one. It's not applicable, even though we, that, we can't associate. So let's start trying to remember what we're doing here. And as you notice, time passes. So this is a thing. There is a time... that There is a... There is motion of time. There's a day-night cycle. There was a storm. It was smashed like an egg, but I seized this book as the book sees me. Then the sea brought me here to Brankug. And Brankug is where I wanted to be, but it's hard to remember why. What else did I lose in the storm? Let's see what we got. Fit. Fatigue. The part of which which dreams. And it is fatigued, obviously. Um, quar. Fatigue. Exuberance. Instinct. Rhythm. And shaft. Fatigued. Eloquence and understanding. The door opens both ways. You notice this one is about speech. This one is about the heart. And this one is about... Fate, Fet, because you notice the labyrinth here is about the traversal of the world and the wisdom of which it brings in a spiritual basis. Yes, that's what a labyrinth is about. It's not just a fancy maze. Anyway, so let's collect these. Now, 
What do I have to left to work with? We have to salvage. We salvage shape. That's me. What else is me? Okay, this. Yes, that's me. Is decided which path we pass. Now, if you recall, we had the path of reason, or the path of um, passion. We had the path of power. The original one. This is not the case here because power was a forge aspect. My heart is an heart as is a uh, is a body aspect, as it were. Now, it's also dealing with parts of the soul. This is dealing with the system of Egyptian belief in which there are nine parts of the soul, some of which are immortal and some of which are not. Like, for example, your consciousness is not immortal. It will die with your body, but your ka, your spirit, will pass on and regrow on the source and take the memory, what it learned from this life. So, you know, ooh, oh, we have cat on deck, by the way. It's currently in my lap. She is currently in my lap. Not yet, obviously. And so if you hear a meow in the distance, well, that's what it is. Mrs. Hudson is back in the... In the, in the so, which one do we want to do with? Now, I wish I was doing this live. I could actually ask you that question. But in the meantime, I'm thinking we'll go with fate. I've kind of always been the kind of dreamer sort. But I know the other alternative would be the more reason one. But the thing is, we're doing a lantern aspirant run. And let's, let's do it. We're not doing, okay? And of course, that should be core. But fate. Uh, but the question is, how do I use anything with it? Uh, health. No, alive. I'm soaked. I'm freezing. As far as still alive, you'll still have some health. Don't lose it if you need it. If you want to be alive, what else are you going to do with it? So, let's take the book. And, what? Well, that's the heart one. You know, I'm halfway tempted to. What remains of me? Dreams. The human soul is nine parts. Fed is the part of the soul that dreams. Is my fed strong? All right, so let's sort of change it out for core and see what it says. Huh, well, you can do that, huh? Uh, the human soul is nine parts. Exuberance, enthusiasm, instinct all rise from the part of the soul we call cores. My core is strong. Yeah, we're picking the strongest part of our soul. And chapt... Hey, get back here. Chapt... Chapt is the eloquence, understanding comes out. Is my chapt strong? Like I said, we're going to go with dreams, I think. What dreams may come. All right. <laughs> I apologize for that. Oh, good lord. Oh, I left my coffee out of the booth. What am I going to do? Anyways... It's not technically a booth, by the way. I just call it a recording booth because I'm old. I remember when you had to record in a booth in a radio station or something similar. Anyways, start. Okay, so we took this back on. Ah, that's the slowest we can go, though. One to one. All right. They destroy the other two parts, essentially neutralizing those aspect possibilities for the path ahead of us. So, yeah, this has a replay value in regards to that. But... What do we got? Fet. The part of us which is in dream walks in dreams. In other words, the soul. Well, part of it, anyways. Ereb. Frig. Pride, compassion, hatred, and fear. Oh, this is the coast with ranking isle lives. I've seen it in my dreams night after night. I know there's no way I can cross the isle in these seas. I'll need to find shelter. Okay. Ereb. Fost. To excite perception, inspiration. All the glorious gifts. So, uh, this fatigue, name, memory, and that which remains. Those various other names of books have souls. Libraries hope their books are simple souls of wist and nothing else. Ah, yeah. Words are metal, the capacity for meaningful choice. I actually think metal is where I'm be going with this. So, we'll collect. We'll put fet salvage. That's me. What else is me? Okay. We'll take the book, and we will add metal fatigued. Metals and souls tempering. Will self-discipline the part of us that makes the right choice. I think I'm going to go with that, but... Let's see what the others were first. Ebb is a shadow in the soul. Pride, fear, hatred, compassion. Oof. Tempting. Tempting. Fos is the light within sight. Perception, inspiration. Choose strong for us. The past of the pursuer. And a past of the pursuer who can see the light within you. The water waves will, waves will wash that. Sorry. Weigh the others for now. Okay. So Arab. Choose a strong herb. And your past of your passions were paramount. The waves will wash away others. Okay. Passion. Pursuit. Who's the past and they made mistakes? The waves will wash away. Okay. And. Past where the. Wist the voices you had sought the voices that had fallen silent. Actually, of all of these, I kind of like the Wist better. So we're going to go with the Wist, salvage that. Now it says to wash away this for now, which means we'll definitely have an opportunity to grab it again. There are still things I don't remember, but I do remember that someone in the village will give me sanctuary if I can get there. Mysteries have been added to your journal. You may begin to investigate them with me. Have your journal are both dry. There we go. All right, mystery. Old friend's address. Mr. Kylie is the coffin maker of Prangog Village. Okay, cool. We, 
We got somebody who is as goth as we are. Damn it. <laughs> All right. So I once wrote kindly of his poetry. His poem home is always open to me, though he's asked me never to mention poetry in front of this is Kyle. I can find shelter tonight under the roof once I've entered Brankirk Village. Okay. So consider. Notice we have now have shelter. Yeah. This is Branghog's village was nearby, but it's hard going, dragging my soak by across the soak sand and teeth of the wind. Which way? So we're going to let the time move on this one. As you can see, we have both Fet and whatever that is. Also, this runs out, we die. Pretty sure. So, we don't want it to run out. We can't dawdle too long. So, I've been pausing a lot. Okay, so collect memory fear. The oldest and strongest emotion of mankind is fear. And the oldest and strongest kind of fear is fear of the unknown. Mr. Lovecraft himself. It's got an edge to it, I thought. Because, you know, edgy. And scale. Hard without, hard within, hard to rouse, hard to subdue. What is left of the crude powers of the deep earth. Okay, we collect these. Now, help. It lies nearby. My remaining strength. Is this it? No. Aspect may not have... The thing may not go here if it has the aspect of winter. Old friend's address. No. Bet. Yes. Deja vu. Do I dream of this beach? Can't put that there. And this wind. If I did, do they not remember the path I took in that dream? A path that's brought me light. Start. Begin. Okay, so, by the way, it tends to be now minutes in decimals. 1.08 minutes remaining to our life. Of course. All right. That fatigue. At last, the lantern of a hurricane lamp bobbles in the dark. It approaches a face looms out of the night. Fisherman's assistant. Assistance. A fisherman from the Brankong village. He can guide me to the cliff if he trusts me. All right, so. Let's see you talk to him, because this apparently is the talk verb. Come no closer. What thy business? A name. A name of someone who might vouch for me. Well, we have an old friend. Be someone that'll speak at E? This is definitely Wales. Of course, since 1930 and the Restoration, the locals have grown more suspicious of foreigners, but there's someone in Brancug I know. Okay. All right. Hmm, introduction. All right, that's what it's called. Let's start. All right, so keep going. Do, 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 do. All right. I'll take you by the cliffs, then. This gentleman is no longer skeptical. Richard from Bracky Village. He can guide me to the cliff if he trusts. Well, anyways, what's this one I mean? Moon. Secrets are soft, and I is softer still. The sea speaks. It is not only wise to listen. Another aspect. Assistance. Library lives alone, but there's no shame in seeking assistance from others. Sky, and of course, reluctant. Someone to provide help, but only essential help. All right, collect. Talk. Oh, hold on, on the library, please. Okay, so. Aye. Do it again. Already. What do we do at this point? What are we looking for? Uh, we've already done that part. Okay, so what if we just... Distance or visitor? Alright, so... Ash skill or readable? Oof. Wind moans, am I alone here? That's what happens we get fear. Okay, so how do we use you to get out of here? Please don't tell me there's a bug. I hate it when they do bugs. Nope, oh, wrong button. Okay. I missed that part. I mean, we have the fisherman's assistance. What do we do with it now? Walk with him. Well, we did that already. Yeah. It's winter aspect. Winter because of memory, of course. The memory of our friends, but... Huh. Okay, we have to open it before we do anything. Uh, can I glean from this book? I can. Oh! Alright, pick a quick one. Ah, let's dry it out first. Okay, so, yeah, we progress. We can't go up the stairs yet. Oh, wait, we got something here. I consider... Oh, great, collect that. Ah, got it. Dub it, dub it, dub it, stop it. Brancook Village, here we go. Brancook Village sanctuary in the storm. I'll need help to climb the cliffs in the dark. The locals are suspicious of outsiders. It's open. We have now opened the next aspect, the village itself. As you can see, we're going to pause this because, you know, things happen. As you can see, it's a nice... Oh, I'd love the fact this is done like a... This is done like a primitive stage at the time. Rancook Village is quite... Cornish! Or Cornwall, not Wales. Okay. Hard for me to tell. 
Fishing village is laying long in the Isle's shadows. It might be oldest Hush House itself, and like Hush House, Brian Cook Village is probably the sanctuary of the years for a share of misfits and exiles, because if you are gone this far from civilization, you desperately want to get forgotten by somebody. All right. The rectory locked. Reverend Timothy is a hospital soul, but Terence, his housekeeper, guards his employer frequently. She doesn't want his innocent theological enthusiasm getting him in trouble with the new king's men. Need an introduction or a mutual acquaintance marked with lantern, knock, or sky. Perhaps someone who shares his interest in theology or poetry. Why, that could be our friend, right? Right, the coffin maker. This is the post office. Postmistress has nothing for me once I know what to ask for. Okay, so remember that. We'll be back there. I like the fact that we put on it glows. Mr. Mr. Killy locked. Mr. Killy is a woodmythe, tall and gloomy. Mr. Killy undertaker is slight and wry. In these troubled times, both are wary of strangers. Kind of interesting. Both coming in and out of the world. Highly appropriate. Sweet bones locked. After the restoration in 1930, the king's new agents came looking for enemies in these parts, and they weren't gentle about it. Since those days, the local suspicions of foreigners, no one in the Sweet Bones will talk to me. Oh, for crying out loud. Sorry about that. Pop up. Alright, so. That's what we're dealing with here. But we know that we want to go here with an old friend's address. Delter, come in, come in. You want to fit. Uh, let's, let's, he wants to be fitted for a box. Cards and objects can go here. Okay, so we got. Winter or soaked. So we can take this and put it here. Not yet, anyways, apparently. Okay, so start. Do a shelter. Get off. 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 Sorry. You know, it's a new UI, new sort of thing. Alright, memory satisfaction. Let's see. Perishing out there. What's this? Some appetites are really easier to satisfy than others. Okay, we're not dealing with cannibalism again, are we? Because we, we've done a lot of that in the previous game. And as you can see, the time and time is now passing in-universe. Because originally it was just us not. All right, so we'll collect that. It goes under memories of satisfaction and fear. Mr. Keel, my midwife, is tall and gloomy. Keel, the undertaker... Okay, we've done that before. Front room. Mr. Keel constructed the bed himself. I fear he uses the same tools he used to shape coffins. It is not a comfortable bed, but the fire is warm. Mrs. Keel's clicking is excellent. Any... Shelter in a storm. It's not just a metaphor, people. It's the original reason. I mean, original reason for it is exactly this. Is before you could assume shelter. Although these days you can't really do that too well. Um, before you assume shelter, any shelter where you not die is a good thing. Because you notice we only had 16. We didn't have 16.33 seconds remaining of our life. There we go. We should get our regular health back now. Okay. So. Hmm. As you can see, it's a little weird about the time here passing, because like 30 seconds seems to be like an hour and a half. I mean, we're getting close. Yeah, the sun's coming up. It was like midnight a minute ago. Oh my god, I'm stuck in a fast time loop or something. You know, if the whole place turns out to be in a recursive time loop, I'm not going to be that surprised, really. Uh, sigh. I don't care. It's an old friend. Apparently, be nice to poets. They'll feed you. Usually, the way around, though. That's better. Much better. The dwelling place of the soul. The ninth of the ninth parts of the soul. The one that can be touched. The physical body. The material body. The corpus, as it would say in Latin. The part of us that the soul moves around to interact with in this world. Without it, at the best, you're just drifting around watching things. All right, collect it. Goes to. We now have the whist. We have this. We have the fet. Fatigue. Can we? No. Oh, well, if it's fatigued, how do I unfatigue it? The kettles put the, ke the kettles put the kettle on, we see coming down the street. They like us. They really like us. However, what's this mean, anyways? Hey. Do not, nothing fatigued can be placed in here. Okay, now I'm getting it. It's important. What's important is that element of the soul can be placed in here. So if we place Wist, Wist has, like, heart and winter. So far, we can't do it. But Fet is fatigued. It can't be placed in. Heart might be able to. Does it have to be accessible? Has to be Grail or Winter. Wait, wait. Grail or Winter? God damn it, we can't... Oh, it's fatigued. Winter this, my friend. Speak with Mr. Kyle. Mr. Kyle, always a chance to catch up with me. If you don't choose a topic, Mr. Kyle will offer help as a friend. Distance. Okay, pause. What can we put in here? How about a bedraggled book? Mr. Kyle, gloom is over, kind of her, lights the kitchen fire and helps me dry the book. Because I noticed the book has... Matching soak. This is going to be a lot of um, matching tiles in this game, I can see. Granted, we did a lot of that in Cult of Simulator, too. 
When I'm to dry the book, why Mr. Kyle saw his way in the next room. Birth always leaves marks, she opines, as she carefully tucks fragments of muslin between the damp books. Ah, I did like her. Very poetic in that regard. Um, you have to be poetic if both life and death are literally the coins of your uh, trade. Ooh, what's that? Ooh, mystery winter. Oh, it's a mystery. It requires stronger skills. All right, so. Yeah, this, the silver book, is that real silver? I feel it should be. I should remember. Well, it's our journal. Did we freaking you make... Are we rich? Uncatalogued, basically. Yeah, that's going to be important in our library. And apparently our job is going to be cataloging things readable. Read up, there are worse things to put in your eyes than this. The gentleman is making things to servants. The petty men servants to things. True. Materialism. Rose. The rose encompasses all. Nine directions in the horizon. Exploration, enlightenment, hope. Uh, the compass rose. The center of things. I'm guessing. Yeah. Okay, so. Too many things open. We'll get to you in a moment. Hope I didn't ruin the game there. Okay, yeah. Uh, interesting. We need to put uncatalogued rescue journal. I should really go back to the world. All right. So where's the rescue journal? Did we? We didn't do that, did we? All right. Yeah. There we go. All right. So put the journal back. The silver book. The wist fatigued. Hopefully, we'll recover shortly. And we can't put anything fatigued, so we got to find a way to reverse these things. Okay. Kind of like these guys. All right, so we want to probably open that. Consider this. A journal. My journal. The storm so scattered my thoughts. Okay, so let's read our last entry into the apocalyptic log we're keeping. I know I always call it apocalyptic logs, but these games are apocalyptic. That is the whole point of cosmic horror. Okay. Thanks for reminding me. I do like the little... Can we... Yeah, we can zoom down. Ooh, midwife and handy woman, coffins and cradles. In and out. Oh, don't do that. You're busy over here. Uh, hey, look, it's probably some of our clothing up there, too. I do make jokes about that, but we, the Grail does specify that both the consumption and production of life is its concept. So, my journal, I'm sure of it. The storm scattered my thoughts, but each page I turn is familiar. I begin to recall why I came here. With time up, peace, I'll remember more. More about your origin and aspirations is in your journal. Wist, our wist is bat. Wait, we have another wist. How do we resurrect our wist? I mean, this is fatigued. We can't put fatigue in here, so obviously we recover it at some point. Uh, we collect. Can we do it again? Ah, memory, soul, and skill. We put the wist in. We have no skills. We have. I didn't understand. You provided enough winter to match mystery. Winter. Excellent. Memory. Oh, this could be optional. Could we pull this out? Does this have winter in it? Does not. Does fear have winter? Does not. We be, could we be fatiguing this probably in order to solve. Oh, give me a moment. To solve whatever mystery we want. Okay. Pull this out. I want to see what happens here. That does not. It appears, however, our aspect is death. Well, dreams and death are, as the Greeks say, stemming from the same source, because the brother of death is, in fact, a dream. Hey, and if you ever wondered where... Hey, if you ever wondered where Neil Gaiman got that idea, yeah, that's where he got that idea of Greek mythology. He's really big into it. Okay, can we do this? Soul? Nope. Okay, so let's let's check out the mystery of the book, shall we? Uh, winter, a conclusion. Well, everything concludes, really. I mean, we're sitting here chilling back and reading our own words, but hey, we're, we're the poet, so that's kind of to be expected, isn't it? Anyways. Ugh. And here I am. Oh, we should probably speed this up. All right, cool. Times four, and then we get to the end. Did we die on the way there? Is that what we're trying to find a journal here? It really is an apocalyptic log. All right, pause. I've mastered a mystery in this book and gathered the lessons it conceals. All right, we have this. We exhausted Wist. We really need to find a way to put these back together. Lessened. Quenchlings and qu quenchlings and quellings. I gave more understanding. Quenchings and quellings. Use this card with consider or at a desk. All right, collect it all. All right, so we have consider. So we put it here. A new skill, a true adept, is never troubled by fire, nor by fever, nor by restless spirit. And Westcock. Okay, let's give this a whirl. Also, we may want to try talking with him, since it has a winter aspect as well. All right, let's get this knocked out. Okay, but we definitely need to put this... Oh, oh move so quickly. All right, another leaf in the tree of wisdom. Quenching Clint. 
Hearts which quench fires and bring solace to the troubled mind. True adept is never troubled by fire. Okay, so we've got Hushri, the great art of Hushri, understands the beauty of silence and its sundering. So we're a winter slash death. Oh god, it's back to the ghoul again. Again, no cannibalism this time around, please. Alright, I uh, did enjoy that run because it was completely amoral, but oh my god, did I do terrible things. Heart, uh, okay, lantern. Oh, sorry, a skill. We've forgotten preservation, healing, and restoration, and glamorous wisdom to those who never consider, will never wonder how the world works. In other words, not for not the sort of thing that people. Wisdom is not the sort of thing people want to possess. In this world, want to possess power, but we'll collect it. it. Snaps back to skills. So let me check on the wisdoms and see if we can actually we no put that here. Can this work? Yep. What has to go in here? My rescue journal. Can we get that in here? Ooh, my gods. Okay, so it's here. These cursor trees. Alright, so yeah. Illumination, hushery. Hushery appears to be the art we are in motion with. What does that mean? I mean, we can place this here, but I don't know if it does anything. What happens if we switch back? Does it stay here? It does. Keep it here for now. Figure that out later. But we do have to... Wait, 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 wait. Post officers may have something for me. Post officers counter. What do we need here? Not soaked. Oh, the journal. Can we put the journal here? Ah, the post officers regards this chilly gaze of the goddess image in the ancient hill sign. The librarian, she says, yes, I have something for you. Wait here, please. All right, we'll wait here. They were running around doing things at random, but that's how you learn these games. You just... In the real world occult, too. Basically, you stumble into the into things and hope that the universe is listening. Post officers returns to an envelope. Mark to the Librarian Hush House Branko Guile. Uh, I think you can leave now, thanks. Collect it. But first, welcome. The truest congratulates me my appointment to the Librarian of the Hush House. Its trust assures me that it will provide the promised stipends and funds for the maintenance of the house library, but reminds me the resources are limited and suggests I seek local assistance in restoring the premises. Let us know when you're all set up and truly receive visitors, concludes it. Signed, the trustees. Oh, why am I willing to bet that these are the same people who are like the board in in control? You know, the nebulous, probably archon, beings, probably archons who are obsessed about preserving the status quo at the detriment to humanity. Why? Because I think they're practically the same thing in the universe here. Killing note, half a pound, but not half a note, a recent innovation. We have British money, and oh my god, am I going to have to learn the Brit old British monetary system? I mean, it's, yeah, it... All right, cool. Keeps the game, okay. Outgoing letters, basically anything with a ready to post will do. But in the meantime, I do want to check something. Uh, first, thanks. All right. We says that we're supposed to have something with winter can do it. Quelling has winter, but it won't take it. Must have all the aspects, element of the soul. All right, so that's not gonna work, but we can consider this, right? Nope, because I guess... All right, can we consider this? Yes, we can. There we go. The glowing part still works. Understanding. Cards and objects can go here, but not all cards and not all objects. Okay, so yeah, we could do this. Did this work? Nope. Heart or winter? It has heart. Improve the skill to the next level. This will make it powerful in crafting recipes or higher branches. Treat me. Allow it to be... And allow it to be a crafting! Oh no, you people are in trouble. Once I learn there's a crafting skill, I get obsessed about it. I mean, if I ever do the Winter Witcher 1 in its complex alchemy system, because they, they really stream that for 2 and 3, I will have to cut out the goddamn half hour I will spend sometimes trying to optimize potions. I love crafting. I like putting stuff together. I just kind of wish my fingers were better at doing it in the real world, but hey, if it's a virtual world, I will do it. Alright, so, in any case... We can either consume this, or we can consume this. Two understandings. Now, I'm probably going to use the two lessons, rather than consuming the memory, because the lesson... Memory, heart, memory, um, winter, and heart. This one is memory, winter, and grail, and it is only grail card we have that's disposable at the moment. So, yeah. We're going to go with uh, the two lessons. We're going to increase our skills, whatever the heck that means. Uh-huh. All right. Two. <laughs> Level two. It seems we have two skills and two heart on top of the winter and everything else. Okay, so once we have that, let's see about trying... We can't communicate with the poet because we don't have the elements of the soul attached to this one. All right, so we need to find some stuff out. 
Not sure what the welcome's gonna do here. It's not ready to post or anything. What does that mean? Butter. I could reply to this or another. We don't have a writing desk. We'll probably find out where this road goes. Anyways, yeah. Yep. I need... What do I need? Shaft. Eloquence. Ooh. Heart. Oh. Core. I could put the heart here. No, wait. I don't have that. Yeah, all of my stuff is fatigued. I don't want to spend all the money in the bar. I understand why I would want to do so, but no, we're not in a... But we're not doing that because, you know, we'll never get it back. Anyways, post office. Ready to post. Directory. Introduction. Introductions required, yeah. Okay, so, yeah. I have this open. Remember, if we grab something. Memory fear. Not going to glow. Definitely an introduction. Alright, so... Remember this part where we get into the new... Okay, so the Eosog Bridge to the I Every sod bridge to the Isles. Each bridge lasts 100 years or 200, then the sea disposes of it. Then it's built in the 1890s. It's the newest bridge, that didn't mean it's new. All right, repairs. We need assistance. The library lives alone. Okay, so we need assistance. Okay, cut out. With forge, sky, or lantern. I don't think we have assistance yet, do we? Not assistance. Assistance? No. Assistance. All right, so... Forge. Well... Yeah, the smithy locked. What do we need here? Introduction. Art aspect of that. I don't think we can put anything here. Must have an introduction. Okay, so we have to figure out what we're doing next. Um, oh, actually... There's that. Hmm. Consider... We can also have speak. Ooh, if we call a memory. Okay, can we put something in here? Uh, yeah, let's see what we got here. Could be a mistake, but... Winter, nothing more. Master this text, but I could reread it and recall a memory. Okay, let's speed this one. Okay, I, I should probably change the timing on that. All right, something to consider. Memory hindsight. Some things we only really recall once they're gone. Okay, we're getting more memories. Winter and scale. I'm not sure what that means, but if we're still going to be considering this. Memory fear. Winter, nothing more. Let's see if we get something else. You never know. I mean, I'm not sure what else we should be doing. Apparently, we're just kicking back and reading at the moment. Alright, so let's move this a little faster. We'll pause it when we get to the end there. I mean, it's been like your two days. Yes! Everything is next to normal. My memories have gotten fragged. Is that the one I was using? Memory hindsight. Okay, so it's kind of going to be the default, I guess. But. Interesting. Anyways, let's see what we can do here. Aspect of the soul. Grail or winter. Grail or winter. Grail. Oof, we had Grail here, but it's not. Hmm. Damn. Oh well. Hey, something you guys can try without me, basically. Okay, so let's see what we've got here. Trying to... Let's just hit him with what we got here in order to try to figure out what the heck we're supposed to be doing. I mean, I'm not sure what the memory hindsight's supposed to be doing. It seems to be the default if we have nothing better going on. Oh! Oh. Coffin maker's assistant. A tamer of trees, a worker of woods, a consigner of cavalries. He's been known to try his hand. Okay, I don't think the coffin maker's assistants will help us here, but we can try. I think it's going to be a bit much, but... Let's try. Okay, so... Damn! Carpentry is good! Alright, so yeah, we've managed to do that by doing Wist Fatigue. Hmm. Uh, element of the soul. Winter. Yep, Wist is the only thing we could do. So basically, we love art. His love of... Our love of his poetry has caused him to build a bridge for us. You know, I've seen Stranger Things. Ooh, a cottage with a hush house groundkeeper can live to the fire. If I can get here and make the habitable, I can use it as a base for claiming where the house. We can get... Okay, so we get our own place. We can deal with that. 
We need this assistance again, and we need forge or lantern for that. The local spot to defeat the door. The rector has a spare key. The midwife knows the jiggle the lock. We know we can get access. We can access the midwife, but how do we do that? My guess is that we hit it. Ooh, look, there's chaos, moth, and rose. Excellent. But we should whisk this place. Mr. Kyle, is there any way to get to Ms. Kyle here? Grail. Ursh, we don't have Grail. Do we? Can we get Grail? No. An element of the soul. Alright. Does this have Grail? Does this have Grail? Does this have Grail? We have no Grail. Uh, we can try. But otherwise... Not sure what we're going to be able to do here. Now, the topic. Memory hindsight. Stoked. Oh! Guess that's it. We can try. Let's see what happens. Actually, right, so it closed on me. Where is it? Right here? There we go. Oh, this is going to be lowering us when we're doing something with it. Alright. Call for Maker's assistance again, but I don't think it's going to be enough. I guess we need the midwife. We need his wife. But can we, like, access this to get his wife to help us? No, no. Grail. Oh, I had it, too. Bring around too much. Oh, well. All right, pause. Yeah, it's not going to be accessible. All right, so, yeah, we need Grail. If we have the assistance, is it an introduction? That's a good question. Also, locked. Acquaintance or mutual acquaintance marked with lantern knives. Boom. Tea with the rector. A mutual acquaintance is introduced the right... Reverend Dumothy, the rector, to invite me for tea. They may even be crumpets. Excellent. Let's talk about poetry and the inevitable destruction of the uh, human soul against the corruption of the universe. Wait, that's that's my other game. Right. Okay, pause a moment here. Timothy Reeves T goes cold way, expounds about post-restoration politics and theorizes about pagan traditions of miners. <laughs> what little you freaking know, dude. Memory gossip. That is Grail, however. That should get us to her assistance. Uh, so we front room. Mm. Element of the soul, but can a topic be memory gossip? And whist fatigue has to be defatigued. Ah, but that wasn't what I was looking for. All right, so we needs to be element of the soul. We can discuss. Let's discuss this. No, what does it have to contain? Lantern or knock? This does not contain lantern or knock. Does this? That's no, fatigue. It doesn't matter. We have to wait for this to defatigue. It must be. Okay, well, at least we have this one open. Now the question is, can we get the forge open to the other place as well? Which basically means we have to wait until we can get our defatigue again. All right. So I guess we're letting things run forward. It's one of the reasons why I shouldn't be pausing so much as I'm thinking. But, um, welcome. All right, that's not going to work. Uh, sigh. Well, that's the thing. This sort of game, you're going to have to come across a lot of times when you're rolling through. But we need the assistance of the rector. We need the assist or of the midwife here. We need a grail memory. It's entirely possible we can try to randomly consider this again. All right. So, skill. Let's try skill. Does this give us anything? All right, let's try it. And while we're waiting for our wish to come up, we might as well do something. Probably be nothing more than another memory hindsight, but we gotta deal with it. We gotta deal with whatever we can get. All right, let me let me put this down here and give me an option to clarity info. Yeah, let's get the info down a bit there. Okay, been up for a little too long. But yeah, let's see about what we can do with our skill. Whether or not we can unlock... Ugh. Come on. Yeah, we're going to have to work on this UI, guys. Alright, something to consider. Another hindsight. Collect. Alright. Doesn't seem to be helping much, unfortunately. But what if we consider... Look. With... Can't put that there. Memory hindsight. Probably means nothing. 
We can try it anyways. Like I said, we're waiting for the whist to defatigue so we can get... We can possibly... I don't know how we're going to do this. <laughs> I really don't. It's one of the things about doing these games without a guide. But yeah, we've got to find a way to get one of... We're going to try to get the assistance right to get the forge guy here to bust the lock for us. Forge guy being, of course, a smith. That, But I like to use the word term forge guy. Really. Oh, the twist still isn't defatigued. How much longer does it have to go? More hindsight? Yeah, more hindsight. Ah! Ooh, what if we consider the memory of gossip? Now, this is the only grail one I have. We're going to hold on to that for now, but what about the memory of fear? I like the whole grave thing there. Knife and edge. I just, I know this probably means nothing, and I'm just being around, but that's how you use the game in the first place. You always just test. We're going to see if the book can bring us back. Ah, dusk has fallen. There we go. Probably another hindsight. Yep. A lot of that, by the way. I mean, seriously, I've got like so much winter and husk, I guess, of all that at this point. Husk being what's left of something. Do we consider it again? Who do we talk to? It has to be assistant or visitor. You know, I probably should also, since I can do this twice when it's with defatigues, I can probably also, because I'm guessing you'll defatigue when Pawn comes around again. There we go, as we were saying. Okay, so let's pause for a moment. Let's consider our options here. Daybreak, memories fade, as it departs, the souls refresh. Okay, so memories disappear every dawn. But we do get our shite back. Anyways, okay, so we want to talk to them. Let's get the assistance of Mr. Kyle. We don't have a... Yeah, it's got to be... And leave us empty for him to come finish his hammer and lend his assistance. All right, so... We don't have another soaked thing, because apparently the only thing he's good for is de-soak items. So, yeah. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Boom. All right, so we have his assistance. Now, what we want to do, I think, is to get the introduction to the, yeah, the smithy. Uh, let's collect him first. Kind of assistance from Mr. Kyle. It even lets us know if we've got something there, which is cool. Yeah, get used to this game. And we actually do release it sometime in July. Oh, right. Now we have to wait for him to wake up again. Ah! Uh, the introduction or the mutual acquaintance marked with Edge, Forge, or Grail. We don't have that. But, now the thing is... Study. Good. Do this again, right? Study must be element of the soul. What does a wist... Wist does work, doesn't it? Nope, it's gotta have... Ah! Everything's just kind of nuts right now. What about this place? gonna work? Yes. I haven't come alone, Mr. Kyle repeats a long string of well-worn jokes, leaves everybody groaning happily. Alright, so we've got him for now, so we can obviously get into the into the bar. I see diplomacy or bribery. We've gone with diplomacy. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Alright, cool. Introduction. Eventually the other patrons on Ben enough let me buy them a pint. Let me listen to the complaint about the weather. I'll find a warmer we'll welcome here next time. Okay, so technically we have now open this up. We can either spend money or talk about element of the soul. But which part of the element do we want to talk about? Manual labor. There's not much work in offer, but I can find six months worth of odd jobs. Okay, so this is our work. A lot of things. Four of nests, renting pennies undignified, but okay, so we can do that, or we can do correspondence math and arithmetics. Okay, so yeah, let's find out. We can either... You know what? Let's Let's do the whole... Let's do the whole um, thing about fortune telling. Boom. I know it's undignified, but, you know, dignified is not something we tend to do around here. But we'll have more money. And if we have more money, then I can use money here to hopefully get something that can work somewhere else. Speaking of which, it's still locked. Introduction and mutual acquaintance. We don't have the mutual acquaintance yet. We need a, somebody with Grail. Ugh. Nuts. Had it. Wait, memory solace. Ooh, peace after trouble. Okay, why we're waiting on that? Why not? Why not consider? Probably nothing, but go with it. So if we've got the memory, might as well use it. And yes, we're starting to get back in the groove again, running multiple things at once. Again, we need to talk to somebody about something. I'll need to talk to the coffin maker, I think. About getting his wife to help us. 
Okay, so... Gets curious. Got the work verb. We also have a... We're kicking it in a small cot over there. Alright, what do we got? Fortune telling. Fortune tellings are they true and they may be real. The money at least is real. Two pence. Yay! What could a two pence get me around here? One shilling, twelve pence will hire a casual man's labor. Okay. We have two pence. Ten shilling note. Give us a miner. Miners offer scale and a little moon. Okay, so basically, really should have gone with the uh, manual labor. I mean, if it's going to reset us at dawn anyways, I might as well go with it. All right, hit it. In a moment, we'll have our uh, contemplation done here with the book. Uh, so I mastered the text. We need more books, damn it. The rector would have one. Hmm. What's the soul? Don't have the right one. Apparently, we're just not his type. We can get tea and get gossip for memory, but that's got grail in it, but I don't know if that works for us, does it? I mean, the thing is, the front room requires us to use an element of the soul. We can use topic for gossip, which would actually kind of be interesting. Maybe topic for gossip works. Pause for a moment. We got... Memory hindsight. Ugh. A little weird. I don't know why... I'm going nuts trying to figure this out. But, get one to one here. Let's try looking at it with. We fire a skill that doesn't produce anything. Aspect of the soul. Toss Wist in here. See if that works. Probably not. Like I said, but with Dawn's coming up anyways, we might as well consider what we can do with it. And we'll see. We worked all through the night. And what are we going to get out of it? All right. Sixpence. Okay, so the sixpence allows us to hire a shilling. What's a casual laborer going to be? The thing is, we... One shilling, twelve pence. Oh, good gods. Is there, like, a way to combine these things? Come on. How much... Where do I find a bank? Yeesh. I'm going to slowly ga gather cash, aren't I? Alright, the common laborer or the miner is not going to do well for me. No, we don't have anything marked to go, and we don't have a mutual acquaintance with the smoky room. Okay, hold on. Problem is, I don't think he's got it. Saffron cake. If we had the midwife, I'm pretty sure we could do this, but again, we're kind of stuck without her. Uh, seriously, though, where can this go? You have to get the smith or the um, midwife or the rector. Uh, maybe what we can do is we'll get him back after we do this. And then... Where's that? Okay, cool. We'll get him back after this. Then we... When the wisp pops up... I mean, this is just going to be another freaking uh, hindsight again. Okay. And... Yeah. Go away. Okay, we can try the... Alright, let's... Actually, we can do this again. It's back here. Let's speak of Mr. Kyle. We'll get his assistance. We'll try to figure out what to do with him. This time, we'll just try to converse with him and see what happens. Alright, cool. And boom. Let's uh, collect. Got him again. I know. We're kind of doing that a little too much. Speak with him. What are we trying to talk to him about? Memory. Ooh. Solace. Let's talk. Let's see what happens. We may just run through that in hindsight and see if it produces any positive results. But again, we may not get through... I'm probably going to end this demo at about the hour mark. We may not actually get to the... Um, even the guest house itself. Uh, dusk will come soon. So that basically means I think everybody should close up for the night. So again, we're getting the hang of this, and again, we don't have the freaking, um, well, as we all remember, the horrible, horrible circumstances of our um, memory storm. Dead Men Hotel and Bloody Tales, well, who'd listen? Okay, we have Storm and Solace. So we can get additional memories from him. I'm curious what happens if we take this. Oh, wait, no, wrong one. We take, pause, Let's take the book, grab our memory of the storm. You don't think it's actually going to help do anything but hindsight, but at the same time, we can also grab the talk, 
Yes, we're poking at things with sticks. As you can tell I don't use. You can easily tell I don't use guides. <laughs> it doesn't work. Oh, can't exalt assistance at night. You got it. Right, he's asleep. Doesn't really appreciate it when I do that. Oh yeah, it's probably nothing. Visitor. Oh well. I guess we'll have visitors when we actually have a library. Uh, gods. I mean, some of us would like to retire to the library, but I'm of the opinion that... There we go. And he lost him again. Alright, so odds are, if we try to get him, we could get a memory that of, uh, that sort of uh, hindsight and then attempt to do so. So, but in the meantime... What do we got? What do we want to do with him, anyways? Pause. We don't want to lose in daylight. Yeah, hindsight. Memory of the storm. But notice that we didn't lose the memories that we were using. If we have them in play, they tend to preserve. So let's remember that for the future. But yes, again, we've got to figure out how we're going to get into that spot. I mean, we need an assistance with Edge, Forge, or Grail. Again, the caretaker's wife. If we had Grail, we could work with. Hmm. Again, onto the soul. But most of them we don't have access to so it has uh, so wait. Wist. Wist has lantern? Come on. Give me a break. So offer assistance in return for a two shilling donation to the church fund. Good to know. Let's give him his two pence. Two shilling. Fine. I wish I had more than that. So, all right. We're going to try to get his assistance by paying him off, and hopefully he's going to have... Wait, is he going to have the same as Edge here? I mean, Edge or... Uh, I don't want to blow the whole... I don't want to blow the whole money, though. I mean, it's logical that this would work. It's a lot of cash. Two shillings, yeah. I, I don't think we need to spend all ten, but... What else? Pence or Shook? So, yeah. He's just going to give us gossip unless we pay the, the guy. And if we pay him, we're going to get, like, a lantern assistance. But I'm not sure what the lantern assistance is going to provide us. Hmm. His assistance would not get us into there, I think. Let's double check that. Hmm. Yeah, Forge or... Do you remember the priest has key, right? Had key before, long before. Pence. One penny so far. Oh my god, we're really gonna have to learn this stuff, aren't we? He's not gonna give us I don't know if he's gonna give us assistance. In... Nothing else we can do. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work, and I lose this. And we start the game again some other time anyway. So we're kind of in a Hail Mary sort of thing, appropriately. Let's see if this works or not. I'm thinking not. It might work. It may not work. Because it offers... We pay... We bribe the church. Well, yeah, that's pretty freaking on point. Assistance. All right. Assistance. He gives us Rector. Sixpence. Oh, he did give us change. I appreciate it. I really do, actually. A lantern or knock. Now... Or knock is not enough. Not the right one. Art Forge or Edge. You have Knock, Intern, and the Director has a key. Yes, that's it. So basically, we had to buy him off. All right, fine. Apple system. We'll deal with it. Open. Oh, yes, we did it. And yeah, this is a place. Ooh. Traveling at night. Oh, yeah. Christopher Ilnapi's book. The Noi Jeans. And Christopher Ilnapi sometimes called the only readable cult literature, entertaining and bewildering. Ooh. Traveling at night. Again. Just two volumes here. It also appears that we have a lot of interesting stuff. Ooh. We all come to the condition in the end, but not all of us are fortunate to be lovely and buffed and fit carefully to a wood, stylish wooden sand. It is an egg and a thing. Can we pick it up? Do we have it? We can hold it. Cool. We have a lot of stuff here. What, what's this? Did we just change something without me noticing? Lantern, books, keeper. Ooh, me. One minute. We can. We have a bed now. Excellent. 
He gave us the key. We, we had to buy the key. I can deal with that. Snoodle jar for calcification, purification, alteration, valuable for snootery. Whatever that is. Probably alchemy. We have stuff now. And we have books. Watch books. Let's read books. Oh my god, soul. Okay, so we need to apply ourselves. The first thing we want to do is stick Wist in there and see what the hell happens. But it doesn't work. Add aspects to match the mystery. What's the mystery? Codex? That means it's a book. Knock. Ours knock. And sing. Oh god, we need knock. Do we have knock? Oop. Knock, knock, knock. Knock, knock. Alright, so... Wist doesn't hold. If I had chosen something with a knock aspect, this would be so much easier. Do I have to buy the goddamn Reverend again? I don't think I can. There's nowhere to put a person here. Soul skill. Skill is not what we need. Memory. Not. Eh. Ish. Do we need the right memory too? Oh, gods. I guess. Well, the thing is, we can put it back in the shelf here. All right, but. Let's see about this one. What is your aspect? You require Mystery Sky. We do have that. Boom. You understand you've provided enough mystery. Excellent, Christopher. I write your stuff. He's the one who writes in the beginning. He was the one who writes the quote in the beginning of all Cult of Similar games, the one you usually flip through. I mean, not you, and not you personally, but you in a conventional sense. Anyways, let's unfreeze the universe and see what happens. I know that I probably should be doing... I don't know what I'm doing with these things. It's kind of interesting. I'm going to have to start contemplating them, too. Also, maybe I'll talk to the skull and see if it helps. Anyways, let's speed this up along. Boom. Hope we can put them back in the office. Well, it's not our office. We're not actually... All right, cool. Mastered it for less... Uh, pause. Lessons of sights and sensations. Like general understanding of sights and sensations. Use this card with consider or at a desk. Do we have a desk? I don't think we have a desk. Got a bed. Refreshment. We don't have any refreshments, do we? It's just lies. All right, collect. All right, so these are considerations. All right, so uh, this will give us a skill. We can do that. And our skill is sights and sensations, which is a two sky. Ushery, which is our thing with Necrodemi. Knowledge of the ways of Transmudane. Oh my god, this is going to get complex if we get to the actual game. Uh, yeah, okay, cool. We got this. Collect. But, if I recall properly, we can also do this. And we'll bring it to level 2. Because I want to learn more. This, I know. We're all, all of us, if, we're, if you're watching this, you know we're kind of crazy about learning things. Alright, so. 3. Can we do 3? 1, 2... What do we got here? What do we need? Winter? We got winter. Boom. That's what we can use those things for. To, to, we can use the book to generate infinite amount of memories of a winter, which is cool. Which will give us what? We need to acquire memories. We can do that. Oh my god, we're going to have to learn the British muse. That's going to be the hardest part of this game, by the way. Trying to figure out the old British system. If you, you know it. You know what I'm talking about. Or Sky. Three winter, two lantern. Excellent. I'm sure we can do things with this. I don't know what we can do with it, but we can do things. Anyways, what do we need here, anyways? Art or winter? Oof. What we should do is grab the book. You're kind of nuts with this, aren't I? Grab the journal. We need to just start tossing in the skills, right? There we go. That should give us... Right, let's get through this. I'm just testing it. If we can get three of those... Um, Memories before dawn hits, we can possibly. All right, Oof, dawn will come soon. Damn it! Is this our all winter? So if you, let's collect. Let me let me put this into theory here. Yeah. Okay. No, it cannot be this. Way. It can be this way. So yeah, if we can grab three of these before dawn, this otherwise I'm starting over at dawn and I'll be annoyed. And at least we're got our own place. We're not having to listen to. The dude snore. I mean, I'm not going to complain about it while I was his guest, but, you know. All right, so let's grab one more thing. Okay, so let's let's see if we can pull this off beforehand. It would be interesting, to say the least. Get it? Yes, I... You. We learned how to use Dread as an asset in, the, in, the pre, in Cultist Simulator. We can, we can do this shit. We know how to game the system. 
Right. Okay, so, uh, but at least we have, wait, we're, we are starting over, but because we're starting over at the beginning of dawn, we'll be able to get all three of these out. And no, I can't. Ooh, oh, there you go. Just a small error there. Try this again. Yeah, I, I, I know I'm probably getting distracted here, but the entire point of games like this is distracted. And the fact I can't starve to death in this game is going to make me much happier. All right, so let's try one more time. Ooh. This first. Yeah, that's right. I got my magic journal. I'm going to learn everything. And you can't stop me from learning. Yeah, gods. Battle cry against the conservatives. All right, so. Collect all. So, let's see what happens. Probably. Okay, it doesn't do that thing where you double click and it goes into an available slot. That's good to know. Start this. See if we've gamed the system already. Boom, we have. So it's at level five. Good lord. And four and three. Good grief. We could do some serious damage here. How high can we get this just by messing around? And why are we doing it is the question. I mean, it's a little weird, mind you, but it's kind of an interesting concept where essentially we're sticking our nose in a book and we're constantly trying to uh, that. I mean, this, we really, what do we got here? Traveling at night. We could try to get another... I am well acquainted with this text, so let me try. I don't think we're going to have enough to do it again. Sky Echoes, if we do... Sky Echoes. Let's see if we get... It's probably going to be just, a, once again, another rec, another hindsight thing. But, again, do it right, we can upgrade all the winter-based ones into becoming extremely high. I don't know why we're doing it, mind you, because I don't know what we're doing this for. I kind of lost the plot, I know. Yep. Memory Storm. Ooh. This is good. I don't know why it's good, but it's good. <laughs> oh my god, we've already I think we've discovered what's gonna happen to me if we do this game for real. But let's let's figure out what we're gonna do. Now, this is the thing right now. Let me get to this. Keeper's Lodge. For 500 years, in times of called Banaracle Curia Nocturnal, there was always a keeper to watch the ways, weed the gardens, mend the roof, and the sun is shining. There's no keeper now with Lodge's roof still weathers the storm. So, yeah. You notice that this is the library. This is what we're trying to get into right now. And as you can see, it's pretty extensive. I mean, it reminds me of the... There we go. Watch the Tower's Gatehouse. Entering the room. Little demo. What we need to do so? We need assistance. So, yeah, we can get into the tower. It's in the demo. But we could endlessly spam the sort of scenario here where, the, where I'm doing the um, Watchmen's. And we could pop in here at any time and say hello. Uh, we've got a lot of stuff. Even just getting to the door has been an adventure, and I'm kind of appreciating. And yes, I've learned how to game the system, and if you had time, I suppose, you could get these skills up to ridiculous levels, like Quenchings and Quellings. I could get up to level 4 Heart and 4 Lantern, and I'm sure we apply them to books to learn more mysteries, to get more skills, and oh my god, it sounds like, you know, you know, or in heaven, with no cult in heaven. Anyways, I'm probably going to end it about here, but you have a pretty good idea of what the game's going to be like. Us trying to piece together these mysteries by finding correspondence. I mean, we still technically haven't gotten the entire thing here. We still haven't got him, for example. Uh, the rector is a strictly mercenary, of course. <laughs> oh, anyways. And, um... We got our best friend here. We should stop by for tea every now and then. Anyways, this is Fantastic World saying farewell from Lovecraft Country, the lovely Isle of, Bron of Broncook in um, the <laughs> the exceptional game Book of Hours, which, yeah, I'm not putting this up for a vote because I know there's no point. This is going to be our Saturday slot when it comes out in July. I mean, we're going to obviously try to get the Lantern um, yeah, Aspirant run completed when I have a fully intact house to do so in. And I will be, of course, trying to get the apostate version out as well before that point. But after that, and possibly breaking between, assuming our time is between, we have got left, we're going to probably tackle the Book of Days. And we're going to have a lot of fun doing it, because as you can tell, I'm already halfway down the rabbit hole when it comes to just the damn demo. So, I also hope to like, share, subscribe if you like this, and I will put out what I can when I can. But like I said, it's probably going to be one-shots like this until I can get into a regular rhythm of recording again. So, yeah, hope you liked it.
and I'll see you next time.